vaporized. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Two guys from Missile Command explained it all to me during my cavity search. <laughs> I don't know, Jim. I'm not as optimistic as you. The experts say there is going to be a war, but this time it's going to be between the humans and the computers. <laughs> Baby, are you crazy? Computers, they're just machines. They need living, breathing humans to control them. You have mail. <laughs> Who's crazy now? Still you. <laughs> Well, I'm not working, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't worry about me, you know, because I got a full plate. Oh, yeah. I I'm producing a movie. Yeah, and then, uh, oh, yeah, I've been officially declared a national security risk. I'm going to train my son for the next cyber war. And my mother's about to orbit the Earth as she can remember where she parked her car. You have mail. Oh, and I got mail. <laughs> I want a family meeting, and I want it right now. Oh, does that include ex-wives? I guess it does. <laughs> Let me make this really clear, ladies. I make furniture. I work with uh, antiques. I restore woodwork. You know, and, I, and, and that's what earns the money that pays for the beers and the sodas you're drinking. And I do it out there, out there in the garage. I do it every day. But today, I didn't do it. Because today, I was being interrupted every five minutes for the most inane reasons imaginable. And it has to stop. Actually, I just came over to pay you back the $200 I owe you. Oh, well, well, thank you. Where is it? It's gone. <laughs> I invested in Bonnie's movie. I play Carlotta. I want to be in the movie. Me too. Where is my checkbook? Oh, no, sweet. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not through here. Look, the garage is my workspace. So from now on, we have a new rule, okay? From 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., you can't talk to me, you can't bother me. Because although I'm at home, I'm at work. Well, what if there's an emergency? What if one of the kids gets hurt? Well, that's an acceptable excuse to interrupt me, sure. Yeah, what if the tornado's coming? Fine. What if aliens attack? Fine. Well, what if they don't attack? But they're just hanging around. <laughs> shooting the breeze. You still want to see them, don't you? You're high, aren't you? A little. Okay, we have a new family motto. The workplace is sacred. All right, I, I get it. And I think that we should all respect your father's wishes. He does work hard to provide for this family. And if we can help give him an environment that he can be more productive in, well, it's the least we can do. Thank you. What's the new family motto? It's, it's the, the least, least we, we can, can do. do. <laughs> I'll take that. Morning, Jimmy. Hey, Clarence, what do we owe this visit? Me and Bonnie are going to meet with some foreign investors for our movie. Foreign investors? From where? The 7-Eleven. <laughs> you got my 200 bucks? Oh, look at that. It's five of nine. We better wrap this up, because I don't want to be carted off by the interruption police. <laughs> yeah, mock if you will, but my system is working. I've never had such a productive week. Three uninterrupted days of carving wood. Do you know what that's like, Claire? No, and I suspect only the dead know what that's like. <laughs> nah, it's an easy lesson to forget, but sometimes I have to be stern with my women. Your women? <laughs> Hope you're talking about a Barbie doll collection. I might have to kick your eyes. <laughs> Good morning, Claire. Good morning. Hey, where are you guys off to? It's teacher conference day. The kids are off school. Mm. Going to the beach. Well, I was so bad about that. We're going to the beach to pick up garbage. <laughs> I'm a volunteer for Friends of the Bay. Mitzi signed us on for the beach cleanup. Do I have to go? Oh, come on, Bonnie. It could be fun. Your grandma says that they're going to have games and prizes. Oh, yes. There's a big stuffed dolphin for the person who discovers the first syringe. <laughs> Look at me and guess where I'm going today. Yachting cap, little blue blazer, yachting shoes. My guess would be the same dark bar you always go to. It 
it just so happens that a new beau of mine, beau means boyfriend, for those of you who haven't had one in 20 years, <laughs> has graciously invited us all on his yacht. Sweet. Cool. Well, what about the beach cleanup? I had to pull a lot of strings to get us into infectious waste. <laughs> Mitzi, I'm just as concerned about the ecosystem as you. That's why I'm going to insist to the captain that all champagne and Perrier bottles are to be collected for immediate recycling. <laughs> Thank you. Ed Begley Jr. is going to be giving free rides in his electric car. <laughs> Oh, screw Ed Begley. <laughs> um, could I come with? Well, it does sound like an incredible day. Jimmy, why don't you come along? Look, I've asked you to live by a set of rules. Now, what kind of hypocrite would I be if I abandoned those rules at the first mention of bagging a giant bluefin tuna? Well, so? Come on, come with us. No, 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 no. A rule is a rule. Uh, Okay, but we'll miss you. Have a great time. Bye. Thanks. Bye, Jimmy. Bye. 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 Boy, they didn't try very hard to get me to change my mind, did they? <laughs> Jimmy. You didn't really expect us to leave with that money. <laughs> Day, what a day. Oh, do I have yacht hair? <laughs> Daddy, guess hey. what? I caught a hermit crab. We went snorkeling and there were dolphins, and I swear to you, I heard one say my name. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>